On Georgia 400 tonight, it's an open road for speeders to take advantage of. And now police say it's becoming increasingly becoming a major problem. CBS 46 is Jamie Kennedy live along the highway for us tonight. You see any signs of speeding now, Jamie? Rick, well, there's certainly cars flashing past because there are a certain number of people that feel the need for speed and they're turning Atlanta highways into their own personal racetrack. The Georgia 400 looks like a NASCAR track right now, according to Sandy Springs Mayor Rusty Paul, and police agree. Well, yes, with those speeds, it's, it's a pretty accurate description. Sergeant Salvador Ortega and the mayor referring to the 52 cars police have stopped going over 100 miles in only three weeks. We have noticed an increase of drivers obviously driving in, in excess of 100 miles per hour, not only on Georgia 400, but also on 285. We've seen it before. <laughs> But it's much worse now. Ah, it's, it's very alarming. Before the pandemic, uh, with traffic being as busy as it, as it is, it's pretty hard sometimes during the daytime to get to that speed. So right now, I believe the numbers are that high because of the lighter traffic. Sandy Springs Police not the only ones dealing with the dangerous drivers. Alpharetta Police in a one-hour period this week catching three cars over 100 miles. Because of the pandemic, drivers speeding this fast would normally be arrested, but for now only receive a ticket and a court date. Police say these drivers are getting caught at all times of the day and night and are putting lives in danger. We are trying to have a presence on the highways to make sure that people stop speeding. Uh, we want to prevent accidents from happening. We want to keep people safe. Now, Sandy Springs police also tell me that in the last 30 days, they have gone out to over 300 crashes, which they say in this light traffic is just ridiculous. Live in Atlanta, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.